We're going to Greek salad it in a different style today. I'm taping all this week. Actually, I'm not taping. I'm live on ABC doing my cooking segments. And I'm really focusing on Memorial Day weekend. But these are recipes you can use to pack a picnic. You know, I live in Florida, so in the summer we have dinner down on the beach probably two or three times a week and swim in that Gulf of Mexico. And I like to pack different things that instead of just, you know, your standard you know, tuna wrap or whatever. So today I'm going to be making a Greek salad with English cucumbers, red onions, Kalamata olives, a little scallion, which is a twist, lots of fresh mint and oregano, and some fresh tomatoes. Now I'm going to toss that all up. I'm going to make a little lemon vinaigrette. It's going to be very, very simple, and it's basically olive oil, salt, and pepper, and lemon. And then the best part is, is that for day two, so you serve that with the feta cheese, lots of feta cheese. For day two, you take that entire salad, you dump it into a bowl of cavatappi pasta that's cooked in at room temperature or slightly chilled in shrimp, and you have a whole nother dinner to bring in the beach or a party. So that all these ingredients just make two a, a great side dish, two different things, and then a great meal. Now, come on over here and I gotta show you this. This is like the best like gummy bear on steroids. Official name is Snacking strawberries, and they're basically they're dehydrated strawberries. And I've never had one before, and they're so intense. I'm telling you, they're so good. I got that over at Fresh Market, which, by the way, her Fresh Market's expanding even into California, which is pretty cool. Now I'm having dried kiwi, not as good as the strawberry, but and my mouth full of strawberry. Could be why. It's cute and it's whimsical, and I would use this as a garnish and like lemon sorbet or something like that. But I don't think I would definitely I would pick that, especially after trying the strawberry. Probably the best thing for your holiday picnics are these. These are peanut butter whoopie pies. And if you're wondering what a whoopie pie is, come on, get real. These are the new cupcakes, you guys. These are the new cupcakes. And if you want to read more about whoopie pies, you'll be able to um, on flavorsmore.com next month. So that's basically it. Oh, forgot to mention, going a little out of the box, since we're adding olives, we're going to be cooking it, tossing it with olive salt. Really fun sometimes when you just go through your spices. Like I use a Bloody Mary mix blend, and I add this to salads, to pasta, definitely to fish. There's Togarashi pepper blend. This is awesome if you're making a miso broth. They'll just bring it up a little bit. Espresso sugar, not only for like espresso martinis, which I love, or desserts, but definitely use that a little cocoa powder and your chili rub for some grilling. You know, but try different things and kind of mix them together. I have Thai coconut rub, and the thing that I can't live without is my black truffle salt. So we've got John Scalzi, our meteorologist, jacked up on his dehydrated strawberries and me, and we are ready to go. If you want to see more of this recipe, you can just log on to mysuncoast.com and click on recipes. Thanks for watching, Chef Judy G.